became an observer in the Security Council of United Nations, and I can tell something very clear. We'll strive for peace, long and lasting just peace in Ukraine, uh, for re-establishment of territorial integrity, and we'll make sure that um, every Russian regime or everyone guilty for this war will be held accountable. It's a very unique thing today, we write history, that all the ministers, almost all the ministers of the EU are meeting outside of the EU in a war zone. This is a very strong political message to Ukraine and we admire the courage of Ukrainian people. Slovenia faced bloody wars 30 years ago in our region. We know well what does it mean to have destroyed infrastructure, civilian victims, children in desperate need and will stand by Ukraine as long as it takes. We also strongly support the reform process and the accession of Ukraine. Uh, we are a strong supporter of the enlargement of European Union, not only to Ukraine, Georgia and Moldova, but also to the countries of the Western Balkans if we want to achieve peace and stability in our continent. I'm happy to visit today the new office of ITF. We re-established the office of ITF in Kiev. Um, this is the office for humanitarian demining, for rehabilitation of victims, for psychosociological help to children, and it's active and working together with the experts in Ukraine. We are also very concerned about the nuclear safety um, of Saporozhye. We have also our nuclear power plant and we know how difficult it is to operate such a nuclear power plant in a war conditions. So these are topics we have to discuss together and we have to achieve long and lasting peace for Ukraine as soon as is possible.